Hey, it's Austin. I want to walk and talk for a little bit about dashboards. And really what I want to talk about is why they're not very good. And I think that a lot of people get hear that and they get confused because they think, oh, what are we going to use if we don't use dashboards? Oh, what are we, we need all this stuff, right? We need all these monitors and we need to know all these little squiggly lines. But I think if you think about it and you look at what you actually are trying to do with your dashboards and your monitoring practice, you'll understand pretty quickly that they're not really the best tool for the job. And a lot of times they're actually the worst tool for the job. So to understand this, let's think about something that a lot of us use on a pretty regular basis, uh, and that's a motor vehicle. Now, motor vehicles actually, when you're operating them, you're actually looking at usually a lot of SLOs. There's an instrument cluster, and yes, that has a lot of gauges and dials and you know pure metrics, but most of the actual metrics about how the car works are hidden from you. When you start it up, for instance, there's usually this uh, measurement that appears that shows you like, hey, Here's how far you can get based on the amount of fuel you have in your driving habits. That's an SLO when you get down to it, right? It's not always 100%, but it is imputed from the data that's at hand. The idea of using an SLO as the thing that you're kind of looking at all the time, I think that's pretty radical to a lot of people. Because when you get down to it, that's not what we think about, right? We feel like we have this level of expertise. And a lot of times we do have that level of expertise, but the bigger your organization gets, the bigger and more complex your team, your application, your system, whatever it is that you're trying to deal with, the less likely it is that experts are gonna be the people who have the responsibility of diagnosing, interacting with, and understanding the system itself. And that means we need something different than what we have traditionally used, right? That means we need something different than just a traditional monitoring based approach where we're looking at, you know, lines and areas and things like that. We really have to use SLOs. It's not an option. SLOs break us from the habit of only being able to describe reliability and in, in a really binary sense, right? The system is up or the system is down. Things are working or they're not. SLOs bake in this idea of, you know, grace almost and forgiveness and an awareness that like things aren't working all the time or they're not working how we expect them to all the time. That's really powerful, not only for us as people that understand the systems, but also for new people that are coming in that are trying to build understanding about the system in practice. So the real reason that you should do this isn't just because some dude in like really cool sunglasses told you to. It's because you are looking for something different, right? Something to be a little more empathetic, something that understands the future that's to come. Because SLO-based monitoring is really like paying, you know, paying down payments against the future you, but also all of the future, potential future use. It's about saying, hey, junior person, instead of having this like really complicated, you know, arcane dashboard full of metrics in a run book that you need to look at and understand, you're giving them a pretty simple instrument that actually says what is happening, how we expect to get value out of it, and why that matters. And also, where's our you know appetite for risk on this? All of those things actually give you like a much more empathetic way to understand your system than I think really anything else out there. And that's why I'm such a big proponent of you know SLO first monitoring. So we've got about a minute left on our walk and I want to talk about why I'm giving this talk. And it's not just to try to convince you that SLOs are really cool and you should use them. What it's really getting at is that traditional monitoring is driven by two things. It's driven by querying and dashboarding. And it's about creating these really complex dashboards and then putting them in a run book or putting them in a, a you know a wiki and then saying like, okay, when something breaks, go look at these to figure out why. And I think that's just... That's not great. We need new, better, we need better primitives for monitoring. When you wake up and you look and say like, how are things going? It shouldn't be this. It should be an SLO or a collection of SLOs preferably. And that's important, not just because that's a better way to do things, but it's also, you know, a more empathetic way to do things. It's a more, you know, junior friendly way to do things. It's a way to better skill up more easily. It's also a way to like, communicate in your organization better about like what's important why is it important and how are things going and at the end of the day that's what really matters to us you know how are things going so if you agree disagree you know whatever hit me up on twitter you'll find my handle at the end of it thanks for listening have a great day